2,500 years of human diplomatic history, war and peace especially, was negotiated by a handful of exclusive political and military elite men. It was the women's movement who came to the UN headquarters and said, we would like a resolution whereby women must be part and parcel of peace negotiation, peace building, and making sure that we was the end. There is a straight line between violence against women, civil oppression, and conflict. Trillions of dollars are spent every year on peace and security, but we should be asking whose peace and whose security. The correlation between gender inequality and a society propensity for civil interstate conflict is now well established. The link between participation of women and more durable peace has also been established, and yet, we still live in a world that tolerates and excuses women's continued exclusion from peace and political processes and institutions. تجربتنا العراقية أثبتت أن النساء كن أقدر على على صنع السلام من الرجال. أنتم تعرفون الأطراف المتنازعة أكثرهم رجال. وعندما يجلسون للتفاوض لا يريد أحد أن يتنازل للآخر نحن نهتم أكثر بنزع السلاح أن يكون البلد مستقر لكن المكسب الأكبر هو إحلال السلام Mr. President, Your Excellencies Women are not passive victims of this war They have been leading efforts to bring peace to Yemen and hold communities together with limited resources There is evidence that when women participate in peace processes it's actually more likely that you come to an agreement. When women had a stronger involvement during the negotiation process, they were able to bring more issues to the table. بالنظر إلى الدور المحوري للمرأة في العمل من أجل السلام والتنمية ولتعزيز حقوق الإنسان وفي التقديم المساعدة الإنسانية للمجتمعات المحتاجة لا يوجد عذر لعدم الحصول على مقاعد متساوية على كل طاولة. As the pandemic took hold, I called for a global ceasefire. Today I appeal for a new push by the international community to make this a reality by the end of this year. An inclusive peace process with women meaningfully represented offers the best hope for a sustainable solution. Une femme a eu le courage de, de s'engager parmi les signataires de l'accord de paix. C'est une première dans le pays.